And here is an Asahi Pentax K1000 35mm film SLR camera. This one's equipped with the SMC Pentax M f2 50 millimeter lens and this one is one of the earlier ones that still says Asahi and has the Asahi logo here has the metal bottom the serial number right here 6564486 and it says Asahi Optical Company right here um, later on some of these were made in uh, in a different country and these tops were made out of plastic so this is one of the better ones and I thought what we do is just step down through the shutter speeds here I'm going to remove the lens for a moment and we'll watch this this is at one thousandth of a second one five hundredth one two fiftieth one one twenty fifth one sixtieth one thirtieth, and now as we move down here to one fifteenth and below, those are typically where old cameras that have sat for a long time get sluggish and don't perform very well. But let's listen to this one at one fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth, one half, one full second and the bulb setting where it opens up and will stay open as long as I hold the button down and there it closes and the mirror flips down and if we put this on a longer setting and mount the lens and set this to f22 and look in the lens here we can watch these blades stop down and they'll stay stopped down as long as the uh, shutter is operating and we saw that so the the lens aperture blades are are working very quick uh, the lens here has quite smooth focusing that's very nice and the aperture has clicks on all the settings I don't see any oil on the blades looking from either side and I looked in it with a bright light behind and and it's hard to really see right here but looks pretty clear these Pentax lenses always when I get them at the right angle it always seems like there's a little bit of a haze in there so I don't know if that's what I'm really seeing but uh, you know, it looks very clear looking straight through but sometimes I think I see something when I'm looking with the light at, at just the right angle but I don't see any fungus in this one or any any problems like that and let's see here's where we get it back on the body if we look at the top the uh, shutter speed dials right there you lift up on here to set your ASA number and I did verify that that makes the uh, meter readings change the meter has there's a battery in here it only runs the uh, meter the whole rest of the camera is mechanical so you can actually operate it without a battery in there if you know what settings to use uh, there's no battery included with this camera as it's sold. I just put one in to try it out. But I did verify that uh, the, the needle moves with different light conditions and as you set the shutter speed and aperture you can center up the needle for whatever light conditions and ASA setting you have. So it all seems to work fine. And here if we pull up on the rewind crank and open up the back we can watch again as the shutter uh, cocks and operates. That looks good. The uh, film transport right here, that looks good. The pressure plate over here looks just fine. There's a little bit of residue along the door edges, so at some point the light seal should be replaced. Don't know how urgent that is to do right now. Um, if you were going to have this camera worked on for something else, I would say you'd probably want to do that, but it would probably be okay for right now. That closes properly. Nice metal rewind crank. And it comes with this strap. It is an Asahi Pentax uh, shoulder rest and uh, strap. There's definitely some fraying and wear on the ends, but uh, it's uh, structurally sound and will serve well. 
And I don't have a lens cap. I have this Hoya 49mm UV0 filter that screws in. We can see the filter threads on the lens are good. So that's a look at a nice classic all manual 35mm film camera. Excellent camera for the photography student.